Yeah. Trying to get out of it and Let's changing see. the subject. So you requested more pics of the Che, and you told the Che that you had a girlfriend. So this very Nigerian man has been arrested for attempting to molest young children between the ages of 14 and 15. Now, I never liked, you know, coming up here to talk about things involving Nigerians getting apprehended, getting caught in the UK for this crime or the other crime. Because, I mean, I see it as in denting the images of ours, you know, denting the images of our own brothers and sisters. But if you don't talk about these things, a lot of people would not learn lessons from the previous errors. A couple of, uh, I mean, I think in February or so, an incident happened. A Nigerian man, a 37-year-old Nigerian, was also arrested, who traveled all the way from, I think, uh, was it Leeds, or from a different place to Leeds, to meet a young girl, age 15, and he went there to meet this girl with condoms, lollipops, you know, where they arranged to meet, and this guy was arrested, interrogated all of us saw that on social media and that guy was sentenced for three years imprisonment and this guy was a student as at that time it was all over social media i didn't want to bring up such on my channel but this time around it seems a lot of new people do not really understand what is going on even when they use cell phones that are smartphones they still do not get information people sit on social media facebook tiktok day in day out they don't get they don't read they don't learn from the mistakes lessons from other people's mistakes they just go there to i don't know what you go to do on tiktok all day long instagram all day long without picking and learning this young man had only come to the uk in february they counted it for in February, March. Just three months ago, he landed this country. Belfast, precisely, in Northern Ireland. He has come to study. And he started chatting up all these girls. Cyril Kenneth, by name. Yes, I am calling out his name. He's all over social media. He's, in fact, the, the, the interview, I mean, the interrogation was done on a Facebook Live. By the warriors of children that arrested him. And then they called in police to arrest him. At first, he was like, why are you filming me? Are you filming me? Are you filming? They say, yes, we are filming you for your safety and for their safety as well. And when they started talking about, asking him questions about his... <sighs> he started being apologetic. He blamed the devil, you know, and he claimed he was lecturing them on sex education. Teacher Chike, biology teacher in the UK. You came to study in the UK and you automatically became a biology teacher to young children between the ages of 14 and 15. Real children. You know, some of the incidences of arrest they have done in the past, there were no children involved. These security agents, they actually did it posing as kids. You know, behind the camera, behind, I mean, they've created accounts in the case name, trying to track down suspected or intending pedophiles, as the case may be, of which I absolutely love what they are doing. It is good to tackle these people, capture them ahead of time. You know, you go on a dating site, a child, somebody will tell you, I am under age, I am under 18. You will still be pressing on. Can I see your naked picture? Do you like black bola? Can I show you this? Can I show you that? They say this one wore bossers. And they say his bossers. You could see his dangling stuff. Showing it to kids. And was asking a series of stupid questions. Are you a virgin? Uh, have you done it before? And he invited the, one of them to come to his address. And he sent his address. He said it was devil. It was the devil. And he kept saying it was temptation. Who is this temptation? You came to Obodo Ibo to study. Why not mellow down? Why do some sort of idiots keep tarnishing the images of good Nigerians in this country? 
about 99% of Nigerians in this country. Okay, let me say 95% of Nigerians in, in, the, in the Western world, they came in with good intention. They came in through the right channels. They pay their visas. They pay their flight to come into this country to acquire knowledge and to become useful for themselves and for their families. But a few black sheep, they keep denting our images in this very country. And elsewhere, this is so wrong. Imagine how much you have paid what it took you, you paid your flight fares, you paid for your visas to come in here just three months. Yes, he said he was lonely. And uh, yes, loneliness is common in this country. He was looking for friends. You were looking for friends. You don't have classmates. Is that what you're saying? You don't have classmates among blacks, among Nigerians, even among the whites that are your age mates. Look, let me tell you something. It is okay for people of the same age here to be friends boyfriend girlfriend 15 year old and 15 to be bo or 15 and 14 to be friends we attended an adversary the other day we met our nigerian brother who is married to a british person you know they have grown-up children the daughter who is 16 he our nigerian brother came to introduce his daughter to us he says meet my daughter you know and this is my daughter's boyfriend a nigerian brother an Igbo brother he said, meet my daughter's boyfriend. They are both in the same class. The daughter is 16 and that boy is 15. It is okay. Even if the boy is, even if the boy is 17 and the girl is 16, it is all right. None of them would manipulate each other because they reason alike, people of the same level, you know. But as even that, I mean, a man of 20 years, 21 years, talking to a girl who is less than 18 in this country, that is not allowed because it is considered that you would definitely manipulate the girl or the boy against their wishes. Yes, because you reason better than them. So this is what they consider that it is not, it is not okay. If you don't know this, just learn it now. I mean, my husband was telling me this morning that do I think that those kids that get impregnated while they were still in secondary schools in our country, do I think that it was their, I mean, it were their classmates that impregnated them? I said no. He said, grown-up men on the streets of Nigeria, they would lure them with money with that. Then I recalled in my secondary school days, I attended girls' secondary school, not missed. Some classmates of mine, those years they would come to school especially during i think valentine's they would come to school with muffins i mean casual wears that are not school uniforms in their bag some would even leave the school before the school dismisses that they're having a, a hangout with their friends with their sorry that they are going for a hangout with men you know i'll be like what do you think that they are going to meet boys in boys secondary school no grown-up men they are the ones confusing their brains. And these things are neglected back home. But here, if you are coming to this country, shine your eyes. Everything is considered very serious. Do you know what they said to him? That they are going to take him to court because they have evidences of him sexually grooming and harassing young children. I, I, I suppose he has not heard about these lies of English in his life. By the time they take him to the court and they start expanding, sexually grooming and harassing to him, he will be like, hey, I didn't mean it in that way. You know, when you start committing evil, you know, I mean, the devil will be pushing you, do it, do it, keep it chatting, keep it chatting, keep it pinging, send your this, send the that, ask a this question, you will be asking. You invited a 14-year-old to your house even if the girl was 15 you invited a minor to your house you are in a foreign country if you want friends like i've just stated or if you want free ocho free bed action you go to the clubs you go to the pub i am not advising you to do that but I'm saying these are what happens in the clubs. You can even have a one night stand. I have mentioned this in one of my videos in the past. A colleague of mine who was a nurse then in Manchester area. She came to work to tell me that she went clubbing at night. She had a one night stand. She doesn't even know the person's number. She, I mean, she, she didn't have the person's contact. She doesn't know the person's number, but they had a thing. 
I say, well, what are these people talking about? These are the things that are not real, where we are coming from. But it's possible. Why not go to the club? Go attend all these events. You will find somebody. Shall be friends. That's what you are looking for. Why younger kids? So why I have joined the league of people that make this kind of video is to also create an awareness. If you don't know these things and you have just arrived in the UK this very year and currently you are still online, thinking, let me tell you, there are people who are not real kids online, but they are trying to like test you to know if truly you would have the mind, the conscience to go for a minor. They created accounts on all these dating sites. But the truth is this. They would come straight to tell you that they are less than 18 just to know your reactions. So open your eyes. They will not hide that fact that they are less than 18. They will either tell you they are 13, 14, 15 as the case, as all the case, as in all the cases we have seen so far. Just like in the case of the 37 year old Jimo, the Nigerian guy that is cooling off in the prison for three years now. No physical child was involved. It was all this security agency, maybe all these warriors for children, you know. So they create this account, of which I commend what they are doing. I commend their efforts. Imagine if there was a physical child, in the case of Jimo, who had already traveled from somewhere, somewhere. He traveled somewhere very far, up to, I think, up to three or four hours on a train to go to Leeds with condoms to meet a 14-year-old one day. Assuming this guy was coming to meet your daughter or your son, I would slap the hell out of him. You know, it is really sad to be honest. So I commend the job of these warriors of children, what they are doing by creating these accounts in the dating sites. And I also like the fact that they would come up to tell you that I am 14, I am 15, just to know if you would be sheepishly and stupidly be saying, okay, can I see your picture? Can I see this? The day they would approach you, this guy, they went to his address because he was the one that gave his address to one of these children. And to think that the children he were chatting with were real, not like they affected as they used to. They didn't hide behind any child. In fact, real physical children, people's children, put their parents in your own shoes. Would you like, would you even be happy to see somebody trying to mislead a child, your sister, your brother at the age of 14 or 13. The law is a very serious thing in this country. You saw what happened to our big brother, Senator Ike Ekweremado, a senator that knows the law in this country. Did they spare him? Talk more of you, what a student in this country. And you know what is happening. The UK is shouting and trying to cut down on immigration and you came here to give them shit. You came here to still tarnish our image. We, the well-meaning Nigerians in this country, this is so wrong. What have you gained? The Okokobioko, the robbing things you did not even rob. You did not do. Hug, you did not hug. And now, they are charging him towards, to court. <laughs> you know, they can't just throw you to a prison here. You know, they will have to treat your case, treat your fuck up in the court. And then they will sentence you. Three months in the UK, you are going behind. Congratulations. If you are planning to do this, share this video if you want to those of your brothers and sisters that are just coming in here. The law is very serious here. They should take things serious here. See, you don't just see a child playing in the field and you want to play with that child. It is not done. Open your eyes. They will consider it that you are trying to do something else. This is why they go on a play debt. Seven years, seven years, they go... Oh, can you come for a play date with me? In our country, no, it's not like that. You can see kids playing ball in the field. You can kick the ball for them. Help them kick it and pick it. Don't try it in this country. They will run away from you or even report you. Don't ever do it. Those kids, avoid them like serpents. They are innocent ones. But they could put you into trouble when you meant well. Maybe you try to help them. So avoid them, please. They are called minors. And minors are minors. You don't debt them. You don't marry them. They can do things with people in their age brackets. That is fine in this country. But anything above, anybody above, a man is a man who has come of age. If you are 18 and above, you are a man. You are a woman in our country. Even if you are 25, 
your mom, your uh, your parents are still seeing you as a kid. It is not like that, no, but do you I am telling you the fact. All right, guys, I think I have to go for school run now. Thank you so much for watching.